So there's something I've been quiet about for the last few months in regards to this year's Battle of the Barracks competition and there's actually a reason why I've been quiet. I'll talk about it later. Honestly, I didn't even have any intention to make a video addressing it, but a few people already started making some of their own and everybody keeps asking me why I'm not in the contest. So today I'm here to tell you guys exactly what happened. So back in June, I was skating at the barracks and somebody that works there was talking to me about Battle of the Barracks 12 and he told me that there was going to be influencers in this year's bracket and he asked me if I would be in it if they invited me. Obviously, I said yes, 100%. It's been a fucking dream of mine to be in Battle of the Barracks since I was a little kid and literally the next morning I got a text from somebody else at the barracks straight up inviting me into the contest even saying they were gonna reach out to schedule my first game so I thought it was locked in I thought it was in the contest for sure I even started calling all my friends and family inviting them to go to my first round game I even start planning all these YouTube videos around the contest to hype it up and everything and then a week rolls by and they announced the influencer bracket and I wasn't on it they just fucking took me off without telling me anything ahead of time. So obviously I'm a little bummed at this point because I was already ready set up to film like my live reaction to the bracket to see who I was going to play first round. And then one of the homies had to let me know that I wasn't even in it because nobody at the barracks bothered to let me know. But honestly, I still wasn't even mad. I understood like, okay, there's 64 skaters. It's a big ass bracket. They're trying to reach out to a bunch of people and figure out their schedules. It's very easy for a mistake to happen dealing with that many skaters in a contest. I'm sure maybe the influencers were already filled or I just responded too late or something. So then I hit up the guy who actually directly invited me into the contest and they, they gave him such a bullshit excuse to tell me they pretty much said that I wasn't actually in the bracket yet I was just gonna be someone's replacement and the skater that I was replacing ended up changing his mind because someone at the barracks called him and convinced him which actually just ended up being a straight-up lie to my face because I actually knew the skater that they were talking about and I DM'd him and he said yeah that shit did not happen nobody called him and he said he already told him a bunch of times that he couldn't compete in the contest but they still put him on the bracket and posted the video and he's not the only one that they did that to as some of you guys probably know there's four skaters just in the influencer section alone that straight up said they don't want to do it but they still put him on the list and announced it and two of those influencers two very big names in skateboarding didn't even get an invite ahead of time they just threw him in the bracket without telling him anything just to make him look like pussies if they back out when in reality they didn't want to be in the contest at all it's honestly just super weird and i'm not gonna lie when i found all that out the little kid inside of me just was so fucking disappointed like you watch a contest for half your life and they make it seem like this fun game of skate nothing too serious and then you grow up and you see like the behind the scenes of it and it's just fucking whack bro and I'm not even making this video to be like, oh, I deserve to be in Battle at the Barracks. They should have put me in and blah, 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 blah. No, like, that's not it at all, bro. To be completely fucking honest with you guys, I would have been lucky to make it to, like, the second or third round, bro. Like, I probably would have got fucked. I'm just trying to give you guys a little more insight of what really goes on behind the scenes because, trust me, I know what it looks like from the outside looking in, especially if you're a little younger. And that's only a bit of, like, the shady shit, bro. There's so much more that goes on that I know that I will not be speaking about because it's just not my place. I just really like to stay in my own lane and film stupid videos with my friends and shit. I'm not over here trying to be the next gifted hater because believe it or not I'm not really the biggest fan of all that negativity and drama shit and I'm pretty sure the barracks isn't really gonna care about my video because according to them it's good for entertainment so fuck it one of the reasons why I never talked about the situation at first is because I thought maybe I still had a chance to be in the contest but then I started thinking about it and it would just feel whack knowing that I'm in there just as a replacement because they couldn't find anybody else like yeah sure it would still be cool to be in the contest but me personally I just don't like being someone's second choice and knowing that's how I'd be in there it just wouldn't sit right with me and the second reason why I was so quiet about this at first is because this is exactly what they want bro they want drama and controversy because that means more people talking about their contest and it's fucking working bro just look how many people are talking about Battle of the Barracks 12 this year and they're gonna continue to keep talking about it because this year's contest is 64 skaters it's gonna go on for a long ass fucking time with two games a week if you still don't really get it just take more than a second to think about why they would put two of the biggest names in YouTube skateboarding on the bracket without telling them because when they back out everybody's gonna wonder why and then they're gonna be forced to address it publicly on their social media or make a video about it giving them more attention when in reality it was just part of their whole plan and blah 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 I'm not stupid bro I see it they ain't slick. But since I'm not in Battle of the Barracks this year, I figured might as well do my own. So without further ado, I present to you guys Battle of the Creators. I know it sounds fucking stupid. It's supposed to sound cringy, okay? That's that's the point. Don't take this shit so serious. This is Battle of the Creators. Just a regular game of skate, except this time we multiplied the bracket by 16. There's a total of 256 skaters. Nah, just kidding. It's just a one on one. Me and Mogli right here, my boy. Regular rules, no grabs, no feet on the ground, all that shit. If your opponent doesn't understand the trick you did on offense, you must explain it to them. You can't walk away and say, I don't know, man. Be honest about your toe drags and all the sketchy shit, but all redos will be decided by the referee. Ready? Mogli goes first.
That was so bad. best games on and off camera. Yeah. I love when it gets T to T with me and this guy. And we play a lot of games, like literally a lot of the times we don't film it because it's just like, you know, on some homie shit, we just play skate. Sometimes we'll play like almost 10 games in one day. We'll play for money too. Yeah. It's 50-50 every time, bro. Yeah. And for all the haters out there, they said I shouldn't have been in Battle of the Barracks because I only do late tricks. I didn't do a single one, bitch. Film but I couldn't land a fucking Nolly Hop Cardio. Just Go, go play skate, have fun with your homies. That's what it's about, really. And it's all love, no, no hate or shade to the barracks. Shout out to Freddy for every. It's hot as fuck, but I'm wearing these. They're dropping, I think, September 10th, 7 p.m., three different colorways. Mark your calendar. Shout out to Ipe for filming. Shout out Borderline. I'm just trying to run up time after the video, so like, you can't tell who's about to win, you know? Yeah. And the winner is Ryan. Go follow Mogan, bro. He's on the come up. Get him a 100k plaque on YouTube. That was so fucking sucks. I know that shit sucks. Ah. You're just a bitch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, now, now it's even cringier. We should have just ended it after the game. <laughs> <laughs>